What's up everyone? So we're going to start a new video series and this time uh, around the Fortnet NSE certification and more precisely it will be the NSE4 and for those who don't know Fortinet has a track of certification or exams just very similar to Cisco exams and they range from level 1 to level 8 and we're going to focus on NSE4 because that's actually where you have hands-on experience with the uh, Fortinet device and this is the FortiGate and essentially this is the firewall on the Fortinet uh, suite products so the NSE4 tests whether you're able to deploy, manage and operate the FortiGate uh, on a daily basis uh, and if we take a look at the exam description we can see that uh, at the moment there are two types of exams being delivered the one is the Fortinet uh, NSE4 Fort iOS 7.0 and the Fortinet NSE4 Fort OS 7.2 so the main difference is the Fort OS uh, version and that's like the iOS that runs on the FortiGate device so the latest version is 7.2 uh, that's where you want to practice as the FortiOS 7.0 is going to be uh, removed uh, next year so I believe you have until March uh, to make this exam one of the cool things about Fortinet is that they allow you to download the FortiGate image and you're able to build your own labs. And I'm going to show you how to download the FortiGate image and import it on VMware. So first you have to create an account on the Fortinet support website. Then you should go to download VM images and by selecting the product, in this case, we want to use the FortiGate. There are different products, but we're going to focus just on FortiGate for this time. And the platform should be VMware ESXi. And you can select the latest version. And for this recording, as I said, I'll be using the 7.2 image. And you select the file new deployment of FortiGate for VMware. The file downloaded will be compressed, so we have to extract to get the OVA file. So I'm going to extract on the desktop. Okay. And we want to open the FortiGate VM64 file. Then you should accept the license agreement terms. Proceed. Then you have to type the name for the VM and select the folder where the VM will be stored. Once the import process is completed, we can start making the initial configurations on the FortiGate, such as setting the host name, um, changing the interface IP address, and other stuff. So we can do this using the CLI or using a web graphical user interface. So to initially log in on FortiGate, we will type the username admin and the password is going to be blank and we have to set a new password so we can see that the interface was assigned uh, an IP address because I have DHCP enabled on that interface and we can use that IP to reach the FortiGate so let's open the browser and type the address that was assigned to FortiGate. So that's 43, 143. And we have to type the same credentials. Okay, we can begin the initial setup. So we'll type the host name. That's going to be firewall FortiGate. Okay, we'll select OK. And we're going to remove this. 
and we're going to land on this dashboard. For these videos, we're going to set up the following lab. So let's open the Fortinet diagram. And we're expected to have this lab where we have the FortiGate as the gateway of the network. Uh, this is currently the PC where we're sitting on and we are accessing using uh, the web or port HTTP to manage the FortiGate. And later on, we will connect an Active Directory as well for different features that we're going to see. And later on, we're going to deploy another PC so that we can demonstrate how to remotely access the internal resources, just like we were sitting on the internet. So this video was mainly introductory. So I hope that at this stage, you're able to download and deploy the FortiGate image as well. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.